It was on a day like this, in a place like this, that I first met Walter Mitty, that purveyor of those golden moments that last a lifetime in the game of college football. Keith Jackson's voice will forever echo on Saturday afternoons in the fall. The royalty of college football is in assembly at the Rose Bowl 2006. We're going to play football. Yippee! One man. Goodbye. Hello, Haskins. Accepted by Teague. George Teague to the end zone. Touchdown. Jackson covered a host of events in his Hall of Fame career, including the Olympics, the NFL, and Major League Baseball but he became synonymous with college football. Born in rural Georgia, Jackson joined the Marines at age 16. While enrolled in Washington State, he began his broadcasting career by calling a 1952 game between the Cougars and Stanford. He joined ABC Sports in 1964 as a radio correspondent and became a fixture on ABC's Wide World of Sports. Jackson's interest went beyond sports, as he considered Edward R. Murrow his idol. Jackson even covered a Republican National Convention with Walter Cronkite. But it was through college football that Jackson established his legacy. He called 15 Rose Bowls, coining the term the granddaddy of them all, and gave Michigan Stadium the nickname the Big House. For more than five decades, as the autumn leaves changed, Jackson's folksy delivery remained the same. And when the wolves come onto the field, you'll hear a roar that'll knock pine cones out of trees 50 miles away. Oh, now they came from my great grandpa. And then he would do something or drop something or whatever, and, and oftentimes you'd hear him say, Whoa, Nelly, whoa, Nelly. Jackson retired in 1999 but returned to broadcast college football games for another seven seasons. In 2014, Washington State named a building in its broadcasting college in his honor. And I'm delighted from the bottom of my soul that today could happen because it, it caps another time in a life and we'll go home proud to have been here.